Hi everyone, we're here playing Warframe and today we're going to have a look at a new story mission which is uh, the Chains of Harrow. Here it is, prerequisites, the wall within which we've already done and we need to complete the Void Mot. Now the Void Mot is a tier 4 level mission which is quite difficult but uh, we might need to unlock some things to get there. You can see the tier 4 missions here on the Void um, all in this chain. So they've all got much tougher enemies, like two to three times more damage they do. Um, so you need to be prepared for that. You can get to it from Sedna. You can see here Sedna, which is accessible from uh, Pluto. So you come along this path here. And you can see I can unlock Kelpie uh, to get to the void on that side. And Kelpie is a disruption mission. So I'm going to do that now. This one's also quite difficult, it's level 35 to 40, so um, if you have difficulty with this mission, you probably want to bring uh, some defensive Warframe like Frost. Um, Korra is also defensive as well as offensive. But also you could bring uh, Spectres if you're doing it solo. Incoming transmission. It's from Fortuna. Allied Faze selling the latest in asset security. Conduits. Put the key in. And you can pull the shinies out. Trick is, you've got to wait to open. Something happens to the conjure before you can pull the goods. You don't get the goods. Ever. Also, the bleeders Allard Soul Detective will try to kill you. Give that console the old bypass so we can get this thing started. So I'm on Mastery Rank 7, which is going to make this quite difficult for me. This is much easier to do this in the group, uh, but if you're soloing, um, you can uh, bring a spectre or use some other tactic to make it easier. Bring a specific warframe like Frost. Also, warframes that have crowd control abilities can help as well. Right, okay, so that's released the electrified conduits. So that'll do electric damage to me when I'm close to the conduit. Which is not ideal. So now I've got to find a demolition unit that's going to come in and try and destroy the conduit. So you have to kill the uh, demo unit before it reaches. Here it is. You have to kill this thing before it reaches the conduit. And you can see it's quite difficult with the weapons I've got. Now we've got the red key. Make it across to the red point here. Demo units looking to depart this mortal coil and take you with it. Keep it clear of that conduit. I can hear it. You have to listen out for that beeping noise. Here he is. Let's take him out as quick as we can.
think there's another access point here. Just need to find another key now. Here we go. So, cyan key. Now that one's a 10-0 fire rate boost. That's actually uh, helping me out, that's good. Gives me a faster fire rate for about two minutes. Here comes the demo. Let's take him out. You can see it's uh, Easter for me at the moment, so I'm wearing all the Easter gear. And melee. Oh, I just got him in time. That was lucky. Okay, we'll take the white key. Need some more ammo for my primary. Okay, let's grab the key again. This is where my ammo mutation mod helps me out of quite a lot. Beeping. Demolisher knocks. Oops. Take him out. I might not get this guy. It's too quick. Oh, just got him. Had to pay Maru a small fortune in rations for this tip. Okay, that's it for me. I'm going to bug out. Right, they're back, and they're well pissed off. So you can see Kelpie on Sedna is dropping Neo relics. And that'll unlock the uh, Sedna to Void Junction. So that's the end of this mission guys, uh, the end of this episode. I'll see you next time. Uh, I'm going to make some Vapor Spectres for my, my next mission. And uh, we'll talk to you then. Mm -hmm.